This is Stitch's trial. It represents the last version of our uh, opening sequence before we changed it for the final version. And it has Stitch as a genetic creation, which was one of the big changes in the storyline, but it doesn't have Jumba on trial with him. And we thought that we needed to have the creator present to take some accountability for the creation of the monster. Uh, before, we used to introduce him when we got to Jumba's jail cell as the creator, but we thought it was much more concise and much more informative to have Jumba there in the opening sequence. So here's Stitch, along with some video clips of the damage that he's been wreaking on alien planets. What you're about to see is the bedtime sequence the way that it was originally written. It's a bit of a twist on the bedtime story, so that in our version, Leela's going to tell her story to Nani. Leela's going to be making an apology for her bad behavior, but she's also going to make a subtle reference to her dead mother when she starts talking about a princess. It's kind of her way of explaining why she's being bad. We had to change it not because it was unsuccessful, but because in an early test screening, we had a lot of people that were confused. They thought that it was actually Lilo and her mom yelling at each other. So we had to rewrite it. If you go back and watch the new version, after you see this original version, you'll notice they make many, many references to each other being sisters. And that's what we had to get across in the new version. Enjoy. In this sequence, the Grand Councilwoman is having to answer to the entire council for her decision to let Stitch live. Um, of course, he escaped, and she blames Captain Guntu for this, but she's kind of on the hot seat, and she has to defend her decision for having let the thing live. Captain Gantu comes in, he interrupts, and she is quick to lay blame on him. So it's really in there in support of Captain Gantu's drive to go back and capture Stitch.